Jeopardy Twitter canceled Hassan Minhaj. Hassan went on to Celebrity Jeopardy and quite frankly, made a mockery of the whole thing. And we can't have this. This is outrageous. You know what people said? They said Hassan Minhaj was not just the most, they said he was the most annoying contestant, not just celebrity, in the (laughs) history of Jeopardy. The most annoying contestant in the history of Jeopardy, okay? Hassan had to go on Jimmy Fallon's show and issue a public apology to Jeopardy Twitter. Now, I don't know. Some of it seemed like he might have been being a little sarcastic, but they still canceled him. And rightfully so, I think. All right, watch this. Watch this. Scene here invited it's you terrible. on stage to it's sing terrible. Baby and was blown away by I, your pipes. I know who it is. Hassan. Who is Justin Bieber? That is correct. Oh. Select again. This is a serious show. Mm-hmm. He, mm-hmm. He's making a mockery of it. Do you see the way <laughs> he was staring into the camera? You can't do that on Jeopardy. This is people. No. People aren't tuning. Look at that. Look at it's not that big of a deal. It's just how much eyebrow content. It's a two hundred dollar question, hot dog. He's over celebrating. <laughs> He's over celebrating. I mean, watch him. Watch how terrible this guy is. He's a bad person. Bad guy. Italian patriot Garibaldi captured Palermo in eighteen sixty with oh. colorful troops called these like a college athlete sitting out a year. Hassan. Oh no. Uh. What is a red shirt? <laughs> that is listen to you giggle, hot dog. Listen That's to great. you. Listen to you giggle. Because Hassan, this is, I mean, this should be, this is more harmful than end zone dancing. The fact that he knows, <laughs> he saw Will Wheaton from Stand By Me or whatever movie he was in. And this other celebrity lady who I watched Celebrity Jeopardy. I never seen that lady before in my life. <laughs> He saw that neither one of them were pushing the button. And he decided to make an ego play. Okay? Mock them. And mock them. And that's not what Jeopardy is. Out, think, and I never thought I would say this. Thank God Alex Trebek died and didn't have to see this. <laughs> Alex Trebek is rolling his grave. I tell you right now, if the cancer didn't get him, this would have. This would have killed that Canadian man. <laughs> I love that response. Hassan. Oh no! What is a red shirt? <laughs> Terrible. That is correct. Wow. Select again. Oh, <laughs> and he's. Do you see the way Hot Dog he's stunting on them hoes? That's not what you do in Jeopardy. I love it. Of course you do. And there poor. Needs to, there needs to be more stunt on hoes on Jeopardy. You can't stunt on hoes on Jeopardy. You can't. The game is not built to be played that way. This Hassan Minaj. And look at the way Blossom has to act like she's enjoying it. Blossom doesn't think that's funny. Blossom knows she's slowly losing control of her show. The show's losing credibility. Credi- credibility. She, and she's got to hang on to it, hot dog. More than you have to hang on to those syllables, Blossom has to <laughs> hang on to the show. Because people, she's the new host. People said there's no way Blossom can handle this show. And she said, yes, I can. And Hassan Minaj was like, hold my beer. Oh, Hassan. He's stunt on you, ho. Oh, and he's stunt on them hoes. It's not right what he's doing. This is why the Netflix show got canceled. Look at this. Perhaps something you ate didn't agree with you. Uh, if you look green uh. around these fish parts. Hassan. What is... Guts? <laughs> you think... I knew that one. You knew he was wrong, right? Yeah. But then why is he making silly faces? You know what people asked on Twitter? They said, what is he on cocaine? They couldn't believe, they didn't understand. They said, and they said this, can Hassan just answer a question, one question like a normal person? I would have behaved like this if I was on Celebrity Jeopardy. You would not. First of all, if you were on Celebrity Jeopardy, it would be as an audience member. (laughs) They do a nice block. It's a one hour block. It's Jeopardy and it's Wheel of Fortune. Jeopardy makes you feel like an idiot. And then Wheel of Fortune makes you feel like a genius. And then you leave the hour feeling great. This is a serious show. And I'll tell you what, the Jeopardy fans didn't like it at all. Not one bit. And I don't blame them. 
This is an outsider. This is like when, when if somebody were to come on to wrestling and start doing shtick, I go, wrestling is not a place for shtick. And people would think I was a fool for saying that, but it's true. <laughs> Listen to this. Daniel O'Connell, a patriot of this country, got the British to pass the Catholic Emancipation Act of 1829. Uh, what, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Maybe England? Hassan. What is Ireland? That's correct. Oh. Oh. And I guessed that. <laughs> See? Well, Troy and How would you not have reacted that way? You're like, oh, I don't know, maybe England. But if you guessed Ireland and you got it right, Sam, you wouldn't be like, oh, man. No, I wouldn't I be that. like that. I'd have some integrity. I'm on Jeopardy. I'd be like Will Wheaton over there. Still a celebrity. Still in the movie Stand By Me. But with some dignity. Some class. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. This clip right here. This is the one I was looking I was looking at Jeopardy Twitter. And this is the clip that ended it for everybody. That they said, never again. We can't have anyone like Hassan Minhaj who's going to bring his brand of gallows humor to Jeopardy. His brand of immature child, teenage boy. You know what, you know what Hassan Minhaj did? He brought locker room humor to Jeopardy. And you can't have locker room humor in Jeopardy. This is locker room talk. Made a mockery of this. And you sound like you're making a mockery when you say it like that, but it's true. He did. <laughs> and he got canceled for it. He will never be on good terms with Jeopardy Twitter again. Ever. Visit Pineapple well, Fountain homes, and Fort Sumter when you Watch this. Boston, watch this. This is no, bad. Is not the capital of this original 13 state. Troyan. What is North Carolina? No. Oh. What is South Carolina? Oh, oh Jesus. Will. What is South Carolina? That's correct. You have to ring in and be called, Hassan. I'm sorry. Oh. He knew that. No. Look at his totals. Will yeah. Wheaton has almost $19,000. Whoever that person is, I've never seen her before in my life. She's got 55 hundo. Hassan Minhaj, even though he's playing games and not one of those games is Jeopardy, has 36 hundo. At 36 hundo, you know the rules of Jeopardy, you son of a bitch. You know the rules of this game. Yeah, he got excited. He didn't he get right it. Answer. No, he knew. He knew what he was doing. Just being disruptive. He's a disruptor, this Hassan Minhaj. He's a disruptor. You get him out of here. He'll never be back. First of all, he's not welcome back. You know why? He lost. Yeah, he didn't have the high score. He can't come back. Will Wheaton had the high score. You know why? Because he answered questions like a gentleman. Jeopardy is where ladies and gentlemen go to answer quizzical questions. That's what that show is. It's what it's always been. It's what people like about it. You can't have this. It's, it's the last bastion of class on American television. And Hassan Minaj is turning it into the desperate housewives of the O.C., Get that Wheel of Fortune shit up out of here. That's right. Save it for Sajak. That's what I say. <laughs> Save that bullshit for Pat Sajak. Not on Jeopardy.